Good afternoon, evening, morning, or whatever time you're watching this, uh, life group leaders. Um, man, uh, we've made it to week eight. Um, I'm excited. We're starting to really climb this ladder of Rooted. And unfortunately, uh, it is on the backside and it's almost going to end. But we know that group growth doesn't just stop after week 10. Um, but I'm excited for this week. This is uh, week eight. It's all about money. Um, this is going to be a uh, fun evening uh, for everyone. Um, as a reminder, week eight is a time in which all groups come together. So we'll be, we'll meet on March 10th at East Robertson. Everyone together, all groups coming together. We'll meet at uh, the high school Sunday evening. And you will meet in your group in the original area that you meet, met at week one. So let's dive in uh, very quickly um, on this week's training. Uh, so let's start off with our video. Here we are entering into week eight and only a few weeks away from the Rooted Celebration. This week's topic is about the way that we view, handle, and use money as it relates to faith, stewardship, and our attitudes. Amazing discussions are going to unfold as you review this week's topic. The goal is to explore God's perspective on money and to challenge your current views and philosophies of money. The concept of your money and your possessions not actually being yours is counterculture to our worldview today. For some, it will be a real shift to realize that it's actually all God's, and we're simply meant to be managers and good stewards of it. This week wrestles with some challenging biblical principles, so have your Bibles ready during the discussion and embrace the silence in moments. It's important to allow people to really sit with these concepts, because for most, it's the first time they've ever been faced with it. The overarching theme in the chapter tells us that when our focus is on ourselves, Rather than on God, the way that we handle our money is going to reflect that. Money is not an end all in itself, nor is it a bad entity in itself. Money can be a great tool to accomplish God's plans and purposes. Holding on tightly and living out of scarcity goes against the abundant promises that God has made us. This week, ask for stories from your group. When did sacrifice and faith with money lead to abundant blessing? As a facilitator, it's important to get the group to lean in by asking great questions. There are discussion questions available in the facilitator guide for you to use during your group time. When questions arise about money, open it up to the group to answer and point back to those biblical passages mentioned in the workbook. Be intentional about asking follow-up questions and getting the group to engage together. Remember that for this week, all rooted groups meet together about an hour prior to the individual discussions. This will shorten your group discussions greatly, so plan accordingly. Thank you for all your commitment and perseverance as you impact your rooted group and the church community. We pray blessings on you. All right, so let's dive in really quickly here. Um, some of our goals for week eight, again, we want to we want to have people gain a healthy perspective of God's provision. Um, I think when it comes to money, there's um, this really taboo kind of thing, um, and so a lot of people are going to have their perspective um, really be challenged. Um, again, depending on the background or how you were raised, this is going to be one of those co conversations that's going to be fun to have, uh, but challenging for for everyone to start somewhere. So again, our goal is just for people to help, to gain them a perspective of God's provision. And then how do we live a God-honoring lifestyle and manage, manage the resources that he has given us? Again, uh, we want people to experience this rhythm. Um, and, you know, if you run the statistics, you know, there's very small percentage of people who actually um, give regularly on a tithe. And again, we just want to get people in that rhythm, um, not for, you know, the church sakes, but for their sake, you know, that there is something about this, that there's a blessing and there is a um, a rhythm to be learned here. Um, again, continue to ask questions to help uh, your group determine what sacrificial generosity and stewardship looks like. Um, again, just encourage your guys' conversations to 
to to be healthy. Um, I know that uh, the last round there was there was some tension in the room because it's just like, okay, where do people start? You know, again, we want people to be on this path to start the journey of um, of giving. And sometimes it's baby steps to get them to to where they're actually meant to be do the 10 percent. But um, again, our goal is that there would be an understanding of a healthy perspective of God's provision. So again, continued that uh, your group uh, uh, understands this concept, uh, this rhythm. Um, pray that uh, you, although that um, it'll be slightly of a short discussion, that nothing will be effective, that you will still be able to ask their questions and communicate effectively. Um, just pray for honesty and openness of people, how they manage their, their money. It's going to be, it's one of those things where not a lot of people like to share exactly where they're at. Um, maybe through embarrassment or mishandling of, of funds. Um, so I just encourage you guys just to pray that that mold would get broken and people would find healing in this, um, and breakthrough in this so that there would be an open, open dialogue. <clears throat> Pray that those who have never tithed would consider it and pray uh, that people needing help with finance will take that step. So um, I know that this is going to stir up a lot of conversations um, just within people. Um, but again, pray that um, that God will reveal to them a healthy uh, relationship with money. <clears throat> uh, some checklists just for you as a leader. Um, again, uh, just continue to remind your group that this is a all together um, Sunday experience. This is actually going to be something that really affects those of you who do not meet on a normal Sunday. So please uh, remind them that, hey, we're meeting at six o'clock Sunday evening, East Robertson High School in the auditorium first, um, and then we'll go into our groups. Um, again, always have still um, have people share. Um, again, I know that this might be uh, a little bit of a time front, so please plan accordingly. I know some of your groups are massive, so please um, try to get as uh, much out of the way as you can. Um, if you can be there on time and just start group uh, right away when you get into your um, areas of group. Um, another thing is then remind everyone about uh just the celebration that's going to happen at week 10 we really want everyone to be there to be a part of it there's going to be some exciting things um for you to do um and i i will say this for you guys as leaders um my schedule personally is going to be a little bit crazy um if you have any questions about weeks 9 and 10 i need to know them in advance uh, as mo most of you know, um, I'm leading a, a group to Nicaragua on March uh, 16th to the 23rd. So I will arrive the day before the celebration. Um, I'm not sure what Daniel you're going to get. So uh, we, as a team, we actually fly in actually on the 24th at midnight. <laughs> and so um, it'll be a fun day for me on that Sunday. So, but I, I just want to make sure that I'm available to you guys. If you have any questions of how that's going to look like. And again, I'll continue to make these videos in advance for you. So hopefully it will smooth anything over. But um, there is going to be a couple things that uh, I'm going to ask of you guys as a group. Um, and I'll go over that in uh, next week's video. Um, and um, again, if you have any questions, comments, please right now already reach out to me because I would love to hear from you before I take off. Um, but again... Our celebration will be at East Robertson on March 24th. Again, we'll be together uh, into a large group gathering. Um, it's going to be an awesome night. So please, please, please encourage every person from your group to be there. Um, so how's this week's going to go? Uh, we'll spend about 20 to 30 minutes in a large group gathering. Um, we're going to do worship. Um, and then we will hear an awesome message from uh, Pastor Spencer. And then we will uh, break into our groups. Um Again, you will meet in the same location that you met on week one. So if you were in a classroom, you're going to be in a classroom. If you were in um, the band room, you'll be in the band room. So please, uh, I will continue to send out reminders um, of where everyone was at, If you, in case you forgot. But um, we're going to keep everyone exactly where they, they were. Um, so again, when, as soon as you get into your groups, do your intro questions, discussions, um, and then just pray for your group 
and um, again, uh, remind your group to share their their story. So other than that, that's all that I have for you guys today. Made this in about 10 minutes and a half. So um, I hope you guys have an awesome week eight going into this. I pray for awesome discussions. Um, again, thank you for your availability as being a leader. So have a blessed day.